weather again just not cooperating with us for our Labor Day weekend activities. My goodness. We, of course, have team coverage of the storms tonight, and we're going to start it off with meteorologist Jason Michael. Jason, what's going on out there? Sheesh. Oh, that stationary boundary January is just not moving. It is really dictating exactly what it names means. You can see their rain showers continuing to, continue to hamper northeast Ohio. We do have a steady band now moving crisscrossing the area from the southwest up to the northeast. This is what we're going to be dealing with at least for the next several hours. They're so taking us into the overnight hours. As you were seeing, we we're still going to be dealing with some heavy rain and also flooding concerns. We do have flood advisories in effect right now going through the evening and overnight hours across the region, including a flash flood warning that was earlier posted for Mahoning. That just rolled off right before 11 p.m. broadcast. Still a flood advisory you can see there, including portions of Wayne and also Holmes County to about midnight, or at least at a little bit after midnight tonight. And also a flash flood advisory still in effect for Richland through about 12:15 overnight as well. This is why, because you have a stationary boundary. You have heavy rain training over a period uh, of, of, of over an area for an extended period of time over three inches. Southern Wayne County. How about this back over towards Mahoning over four inches of rainfall and that is still going to be continuing earlier this evening. They did have reports of a tornado as well, but the flooding concerns continue to loom throughout the region from Mahoning and also the area of Youngstown, including Camel, including Struthers as well as Boardman. And that's where our Lydia Aspara picks it up from here. Lydia. Uh, Jason, you're right in Boardman. The township administrator will ask the state of Ohio for help after much of that community is underwater. And tonight, there is no cleanup. More rain is on the way. The funnel cloud was seen near Southern Boulevard in Boardman, just outside of Youngstown. It comes from our sister station, WFMJ. You can hear the wind and see the debris being scattered. Then this. Frightening moments for so many. The water came from above and below, covering cars where no one was able to traverse this road. Pictures of railroad tracks clear, yet standing water on both sides of the track. Cars stranded with nowhere to go. What happened was this. Between one and two inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts up to 1.5 inches are expected over that same area. So the pictures of a soggy Labor Day tell the story. The funnel cloud forming, driveways looking like waterfalls, and the Canfield Fair, a washout. Sirens went off when they saw the funnel clouds. The damage, too soon to assess as the rain will continue. Labor Day will be a day of work for many as they try to dry out. That's for sure. In places, as Jason mentioned, like Camel, Struthers, and Youngstown, well, they also heard the sirens. In fact, my parents who live in Camel went to their basement to avoid the noise and the threat of all that bad weather. And they tell me that the water uh, January was just running down the streets like a river. So oh. scary moments for a lot of people, especially Absolutely. senior citizens. And so frustrating. Now the cleanup begins. Absolutely. Wow. Thanks, Lydia.